Today it is difficult to draw parallels between brain structures and features of our personality. One and a half hundred years ago, scientists made maps of the brain and confidently marked the areas of humor, love and friendship, and even inclination to aggression. But now they just shrug their shoulders. But obviously, we are what we inherited from our ancestors. It's the same legacy that determines what our brain will be. In general, the question of how individual and unique we are has always worried mankind. The genetic aspect, of course, plays a role. If we look at children, we see that some things they do are very similar to one of their parents. But again, we can say, maybe because they're brought up by these parents. Experiments were carried out when identical twins who, for some reason, were put in an orphanage and grew up in different families. Their goal was to determine how different their behavior was. Of course, there are very few such cases, but nevertheless, on the basis of this small number of observations, it turned out that they could share even some trifles. The color they like, whether they like to walk upstairs or take an elevator what books they prefer, and so on. I mean, even some complex aspects of our behavior, such as our preference in literature, turn out to be controlled by a certain genetic aspect. Throughout life, heredity determines our abilities. Some are more obvious than others. For example, speech, or orientation in space but the speed of perception and memory largely depend on how much we train these abilities in everyday life. After all, the body is not only genetics, but also the result of its interaction with the environment. It's impossible for your receptors and my receptors to be the same. So no matter how hard you want and no matter how hard you try to make everything the same, we see the world really differently. Some have more yellow receptors, some have more red receptors, some blue receptors, and so on. And the world is completely different for each of us. But you're not mistaken to say that, I don't know, my jacket is black? Well, I guess it's black, you say it's black, the grass is green, and so on. All of these concepts, green, black, we just learned them, we agreed on them. We were taught that way when we were children that certain sensations in the eyes make up a certain image. A word stands for a certain sensation, and this sensation can be described with this word. And at the same time, we will never know that we see, really, the world is a little bit different for you. This is simply at the level of perception. But what we see and what thoughts come to our mind depends on our experience, which helps us make the right choice in life based on our aspirations. We will never be able to create absolutely identical conditions for the raising of an organism to repeat its individual experience, which means there will never be two absolutely indistinguishable people in the world. That is why, despite all the similarities, all of us have absolutely unique brains, identical twins, Africans and Europeans, men and women.